Hello everyone, my name is FlareBless and welcome back to Death House. If you enjoy this game so far, please remember to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And quite possibly as well, turn on that notification bell so that you know other videos when they're released in the future. We're heading in the dark halls, not knowing what will come on the other side. Hey Naoki, I think I started to smell the thing you were smelling. Uh, so you didn't forget it smelled of iron and burnt feces again this time though the smell is getting much stronger the more we walk upon this hall the slower our movement becomes our heartbeats were getting faster our body started to shiver even more unwilling to know what that smell is coming from this is an exact scene of a horror movie when we turned to the corner of the hall, suddenly the smell had become so strong we turned around to see what was causing it. And that's our second worst mistake of our lives. So the first was the skeleton. Well then, it looks like something was brutally murdered here. Remains of somebody. Ah! Is this guts? A person's whole stomach? So that must have caused the stench then. It's almost like someone was thrown here at some sort of superhuman speed. And the fact that it looks fresh doesn't help at all. I pray this is not of my classmates. I pray this is not anybody in general, for goodness sakes. I tried to step back from this horrific sight. But I just accidentally stepped on one of the organs splattered here. It's so squishy. Ugh. I feel like I'm going to vomit. It really smells like meat, though. Uh, say, G, don't say that. The nauseous feeling grew stronger through my weakened stomach. I guess I ain't even eating nothing tonight. There isn't a tonight, though, nor today. Time here is a constant. A constant nothing. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to say it like that. Ugh, don't worry. I'm just fine. We just need to get the fudge out of here as soon as possible. Right. I associate swear words with food, but not food with swear words. We continued going on through the school, with our heads up just in case for any trouble. Just in case if there's any blood dripping from the ceiling, you know. You don't want any blood on your hair, do you now? Man, we sure are- we surely are alone. There's barely anything here. Yeah, no other skeletons around here, or any blue wisps. I guess that does make me feel a bit better. Maybe our chances of survival are a lot higher than participated. Anticipated? Also, we should check more classrooms. We might find more information. Didn't we find one of our friends within the classroom which had the skeleton in? Ugh, fine. We went upon the class of 5A. Oh, hey, there's a key there. Here. But it's on the other side of a big whole gap. You think you're going to make that jump? Well, this would be much faster than going to the other side of a room by door. Yeah, <laughs> we're a speed run this. Safer? Known. Quicker? Yes. We're gonna do it. All right. I'll count on for. So I'll count for you. One, two, one. I didn't say. You know what? I see what you did there. I managed to jump over the gap. It was harder since the hole was more wider, but I still did it. Hey, I got the key. This is, this, what do you think this is, some sort of RPG game? We collect keys and unlock doors? <laughs> Alright, but I won't be jumping for you though. I'll take the door out this side and you take that door by that side. Sure, whatever you say, this feels like an act of separation. We both exit the room at the same time, putting the key inside my pocket. We headed back through the dark halls again. Went upstairs. We went inside of another room. Well, a bathroom. Oops, I think this may be the girl's bathroom. Hey, this is a horror scenario where everything is within the same state. Abandoned. Desolated. Deserted. I could go for some dessert right now. Not primarily here, though. Oops, I think this may be the girl's bathroom. Yeah, let's just get out of here. But there may be a mystery in here. In these games, it doesn't matter which set of bathrooms you go in, as long as there's nobody using it. This place, it feels so cold. When you breathe out the oxygen here, vapor will come out. 
I don't mean those words, by the way, in a normal scenario. I mean them within a post-apocalyptic scenario, where maybe some good resources are found within the other gender's toilet, as in for survival sakes. Along with an unpleasant feeling. Hey, Neoki? Hmm? What is it? Do you still have a... Cream? Yeah? For what? Oh, just want to use from my... Hair. Yeah. He had been dried up for a while. Ugh, how can it be dry? It just is. It just is, okay? <laughs> just, just please give me it. Well, here you go. Just don't do anything crazy with it. Thanks. I'll make sure to butter my... Okay. Hair real good. Did he just... Great. He's that character from Corpse Party. I'd rather not say anything. Just shrug and move on, my man. Oh. What's going on? Hmm. Not much going on. Look. I think that we will benefit from checking it again just to see. Well... We did leave after not looking for any clothes, so I might as well go back. Let's see what to find here. Once I entered inside here, suddenly the door behind me shut tight. Great. I tried to open it with all my force, but it just won't open. Say, G, open the door! Suddenly I hear giggles. Giggles from young children. My body started shivering. This is a trap, and it is the worst kind of giggles. From young girls in a whole scenario. Only San being naughty. Let's give him what he deserves. I started kicking the door to get out of here. I did everything within my strength. But something grabbed me with such extreme force. Pushing me down onto the ground. I can't stand up. I felt basically paralyzed at this point. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun with you Oni San. Well, then, they start to pull me apart. Isn't that just grand? Isn't that just what we need on a lovely day? I think that is what you would call a game over, folks. Or a continuation of the story. No, it definitely is a game over. But the sounds continue on even if you're in the main menu, so... Lovely. Wait for Seiji. Ugh, guess I'll just stay here. Wan-chan! Where are you? Wan-chan! That voice. I know it. It's Machita's little brother. Oof, 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 oof. Thank you for the cream. It's really, it, it's really making it moist there. He came back earlier than I thought. Uh, sure. Also, can you keep the lotion? Hmm? Oh, thanks. Gonna be using this whole a lot. Ugh, I don't want to know what you're using it for. Seiji, I heard Machita's brother out voice out in the hallway, somewhere downstairs. Yuma, I think. Really? Well, let's check it out. We immediately ran downstairs together, looking for him. But when at least expected, I accidentally tripped by the fast-moving stairs? Fast-moving stairs? Hitting my arm where it was already bruised. Ouch. Ugh. Naoki, are you alright? My arm... Sh sheesh. Uh, let me help you with that. Seiji gently held me up. He then lent me his shoulder where my arm was touching his chest. Hope you don't mind. I think we should go to an infirmary to rest for a while. Yeah, because there's going to be a nurse who isn't there. I'm just glad you didn't fall in. Uh, don't worry. I can manage. Let me just... Ow! Clearly you can't. Just stick with me. I'll help you all the way, though. Thanks. You really are just a brother to me, Seiji. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Seiji was assisting me for a while, just until we passed the stairs. Are you able to stand by yourself now? Yeah, let's find that infirmary. Say, Nioki, did you see where my scrap piece was from Aoki's charm? It's not here anymore. No, you probably just lost it inside the bathroom. Crap. I knew I was going to lose it at some point. How about you, Naoki? Do you still have yours? It's locked inside my school tag. Ugh, I feel so bad now. This is why I always tell you to watch where you put your stuff, Seiji. Soon after, we managed to find the door for the infirmary. 
though when we try to open it the door is locked. Convenient. It's almost like if this is an RPG game where we need to find the key to go into a room in which we will find another key. Say, did you get a key? Oh right, I'll lend it to you. I took the key out and gave it to him. Come sit down on these beds. I'll help you for arm. I went inside the room and took a look on the beds. Heh, they ain't in bad shape at all. Though they would be more dustier. Oh, sorry, thought they would be more dustier. I'm going to lie down for a bit. All this running around starts to make me feel fatigued. Sit tight, Naoki. I'll find something that could help heal that arm of yours. Just take off that collar shirt for me, okay? A few minutes have passed, Seiji was in the process of bandaging my arm. He took it with great care, gently wrapping over my bruised spot. I think that gotta do the trick. How does it feel? It isn't like Nurse Tsukasa's magic. Feels like I just grew a new muscle. Thanks a lot. Glad you're feeling much better. I sprained my arm before too, so I know just how you feel. Yes, I know. Because I'm the one who got to pay for your lawsuits when you fall down on the toy store's cabinets. Look, my sister just wants a bit plushy so bad. It ain't my fault they had it that high up on these tall cabinets. That's why you ask for help in the store. So that they can get a ladder. So they can get up there. Well, you know, you could ask me. Six foot seven. I can reach most places. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Anyways, thanks again. You've got a skill for this. Ah, oh, shucks, it's no big deal. May I lie down here too? I'm sure it would be better if you did, actually. I moved back onto the corner of the room, letting Seiji to have his space. Whoa, getting sleepy. Now, let's not do that now. <laughs> I sleep when Slumberland comes out for me from the beyond. You really act like a little kid, you know. Hmm... Are you going to give me candy then? Are you going to read me a bedtime story? Also, Naoki, what is it? So when we find Uchi, are you two good? No. But what? Come on now. I know what you're thinking of. Right then, on the corner of your eye, when you saved her from the evil depths of his school, you touched her soft pink lips, and she was rubbing your hot one back, moving in with a key. Seiji, enough already! <laughs> Your blushing face tells it all. Come on, Eriki. I know you like her. As a friend! You need gain... You need to gain your... You need to gain your confidence and confess to her already. Uh, yeah, I know that. Seiji, you know... You sure make the setting an always different environment, but it actually is, yeah. This is like a horror scenario, but you kind of set it as like a romance slash fantasy scenario. Although at the same time, this horror scenario is also fantastical. <laughs> you know me after all. We sure do. Let's hope we can find the others safely, though. I thought we did find one of them, but we just abandoned them because they were still asleep. Seiji may sound like an idiot, and he is. But he can provide useful advice about certain subjects, at very rare given times. Though, I thought I had been a bit too harsh with him ever since we got here. Guess that's what fear does to you. It makes you feel your true self, actually. When you give in to fear, you are unable to put on a facade. Still, this infirmary looks nice. Oh, so round. What was that exactly? Oops, sorry. Every time he... Okay, f stop it! Why have I already got a big obsession with my ass? Is it that big of a deal? Seiji, you can't be so weird. And lightning strikes. One chan where are you? That was Yumo again. I heard him too. I will go and find him. Wait, let me come with... No, you stay here and get rest. Give us some time before you can finally heal. Seiji, don't be such a dumbass. You can get seriously hurt. I'll be just alright, I'll come back quick. Plus, you're the one who's actually hurt. Just stay tight and don't worry for a bit, okay? Fine. I'll stay. It's not because I want to. But you better come back here, as soon as possible. I told you not to worry. Anyways, I'll be leaving now. 
Bye bye. Seiji exits the room, leaving me alone in this bed. I took a deep sign out. To, I took a deep sign out of my sigh out of my chest and tried to relax for a while. Are we really going to make it? Is everybody, and I mean all of us, is going back home? What would happen if one of them was killed? How are we going to explain their deaths? How would people would knew? How would people know about this place? Oh, sorry, police officer. Me and our friends had went inside a haunted old mansion with murderous ghosts all over the place. Very reasonable explanation. But surely you would think with all these occultic-like murders going on throughout this universe, that that idea isn't totally barbaric. Uh, for something that I thought I was going to be relaxed, I honestly feel more stress than, than thinking about this crap. A few minutes had passed and Seiji still hasn't come back. Damn it, I should have knew better than letting him go by himself. It's time that I will go after him. But, my body, it can't move. It's like someone is pushing me down on my chest. I can't speak either. I'm having sleep paralysis. But how? I didn't even went to sleep. The pen on that, the pen in that corner, it's moving. Sachi, Sachi, have you come to find me? Sachi, I'll make sure this time we will be together finally. My happiness and joy. A dark aura just came out of nowhere. I can't scream, can't move a single muscle. I was basically helpless at this point. Eventually, I could see the unknown being's face up to mine's. Sachin. Sachan. That is a ominous figure, don't you think? Imagine waking up to that. It's all purpley too. I'm not scared. You think I'm scared of my favorite color? <laughs> You're the mo I'm the monster around here, not you. He keeps repeating that name. Unsure who Sachi Chan is. The dark aura reached their hand towards my so me. Trying to grab my head. I was fighting back with my own body in order to move. I fight and fight more. Eventually, I actually broke free. Yeah. I ran to the exit, which was luckily next to me, but... Everything is blocked by strings of hair. We are going. How are we going to burn it? We don't have anything to burn it with. Actually, fire does work well against the occult. The candle on the desk. I could use that. I ran through the other side of the room, avoiding the gaps on the floor. Once I got there, I can feel the heart in contrast of this cold room. Sorry, I felt the heat in contrast of this cold room. Ha! <laughs> Trying to catch me then? Gotta find another pass. So, and another to pass the demon ghost, whatever. I started running back towards the exit again with the candle in my hand. Oof, this thing is slow. Just during the moment running to the other side of the room, a new hole on the ground just appeared just in front of me. Whoa! My foot just fell inside the hole. I tried to get up, but I realized I was trapped. All this effort for nothing. It can't be. Sachan. Sachan. No, 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 no. Not like this. Not by you. Just when I looked up, that thing was staring at me. Its arm was grabbing my own arm. It was pulling it in the most pain I could ever felt the entire life. The beam was so strong, my arm was getting ripped off. Nah, it was the incorrect decision. Great. Don't you just love it when you make nice decisions that leads to game overs? Well, at least I get the game. Oh, dead end, yeah. That should have been what was the other one as well, but we didn't get that sign. Okay, use your hands. I got no damn time to lose. I need to get the blank out of here now. I used all my remaining strength to remove all of the hair out of the door. I grab and pull, grab and pull. I can feel his cold presence coming closer to me. Get the blank away from me, demon! I pull and pull even more. This is my only chance of survival. I gotta make this quick. Sachan. 
Sa Chan. It echoes. Is getting louder and louder. Eventually, I could feel it breathing on the back of my neck. Sa Chan. Whoa! The door finally opened. I can finally get the hell out. Nice. But. Sa Chan? That shadow thing is gone now. So it was the hair itself, and the fire is not the best way to go about it. Maybe actually destroying the hair would Im sorry, would anger the spirit. My heart is beating like crazy. I try to breathe, then suddenly a strong nauseous feeling came. I had no choice but to vomit. Great. <laughs> we even got the sound effects to it. I threw up everywhere. All that food from the school's festival is all coming out of my system. All those noodles, meat bits, stomach acid, etc. All on the ground now. Nyoki, what happened? Are you alright? Say, gee. Sorry for the mess. What are you on about? Don't apologize for barfing. Oh, gosh, I really shouldn't have left. I can't help but let out a little more. Gosh, this is so embarrassing. Would you like a massage? It might make you feel better. N no, I'm just fine. Anyways, have you found Yuma yet? Uh, there wasn't much luck. Seems like we're the only ones here. Yeah, because we're all in our own interdimensional spaces. Barely anything else here, and it's way too quiet. So, is your arm any better? I can wrap it even more if you want. About that, when I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by a black ghost thingy. Wait, what? What in the world? Are you alright? Do I look alright to you? Does the colour loss from my face tell you anything? Ah, sorry. But anyways, let's not visit that room anymore. Yeah, the infirmary is creepy out. Creeped out. That's fine. Just glad you're okay. Well, I think we should keep moving. Can you stand? Yeah. But where the hell are we supposed to go? Well, I don't know. We've been pretty much everywhere in this blank hole of a school, and the other people here are blanking dead. There's no remember point. We're finished. I'm so damn sick of this already. I letting my rage out. Come on, Naoki. Things could have been a lot worse. We could figure out something. We have a 2 9 gain. We're practically invincible. I got an appointment with my hairdresser first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then after, late in the afternoon, how about we go to the arcade together? Quite a plan, right? Yeah, if we miraculously survive all of this. Gosh, Seiji is starting to annoy me. Man, what's with the attitude, Neoki? This is super not like you. Raise up! Our only opponent here is fear itself. Why the hell do you think so positively in this situation? I literally was about to die inside that damn infirmary. Uh, hmm? How are you able to keep up with those smiles and laughing? D do I? Just tell me, how long are you going to keep up with that obnoxious attitude until you realize we're never going back home again? How? Okay, Naoki, you don't have to be a bully here. And also, if we separate, our chances of survival are much, much slimmer. How dumb can you be? If it's not some stupid fairy tale with a happy ending, we could figure something out. My ass! I went on a rant on Seiji. All that stress the situation had been giving me the whole time is now getting out of me. To think, I would have kept up Seiji's recklessness until the very end. But to that, I was scolding him harshly, insulting my best friend in cruel ways. All of this is giving me a headache. I want to stop, but I can't. Cursing out like a cranky grandpa or grandma. I'm sure our families are going to be worried sick about us. They would search and search, but they will never find us. It will be such a burden for everybody. You're wrong. What? Finding a loved one would not be a burden for them. When you cherish that person, you would take great measures to find them as themselves. So, yikes. You don't have to bring that up. Oh, so that's what you're trying to do here. I don't want anything to do with that man. I think I just made him mad just like that. 
Sheesh. I don't know what just got over me. Gosh, Neoki, don't put him on that tension all over again. How about we split up? We could discover more ground that way. Even another exit out of here. You know, Naoki, from the things you said? Yes. I want to go back home as much as you do. Back to my mom, you, and everyone else. And I don't want them to worry about me. And the fact that you're willing to bring up my father as a way to taunt me, upset me. You don't want me, and I don't want you either. Of all people, speaking to me like that. Seiji, look, I no, the damage is done. The damage is done, Naoki. You should not have brought that up. Why am I having a hard time saying I'm sorry? I'm sorry. But it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. Naoki, you're so dumb. What's wrong with me? Gosh, I'm such a scumbag. You are. I'll watch your Seiji walking down the hallway until you fade into total darkness. I did the same, but in the opposite direction. Doing this without him being here is probably for the best. Are you sure about that? I'd been walking through these halls for ages, yet nothing. The fear keeps building up inside me. To the point, I heard sounds around me, screaming, all sounding like Seiji. I tried to call out his name, yet nothing. I can't deal with this anymore. Everything collapsed down around me. I could feel it crushing me. Everything is moving so fast, yet so slow. What we do to end up like this? What do we do? How stupid I got to be. It's like time just keeps repeating itself. Everything I step on this building. I didn't pay attention to my surroundings even. I just got too much on my mind already. Just so much. Hope the others are having an easier time than we are. Hmm. When I came to my own senses, I found myself in the third floor hallway. Damn, where's Seiji at? I'd been walking for what God knows. Been calling for his name so many times at this point I don't even bother. Suddenly I heard a noise coming from the west where the bathrooms were at. Hmm? Seiji, are you there? I walked through the hallway, slow and steady. Then I heard the noise again. I think it's coming from the boys' bathroom. Of course he'll be there. I'm coming, CG! Are you sure? This is... This is from your dream. The place in my dream. Back during Mochita's play. What's this supposed to mean? CG! Are you here? I kept hearing the swinging noise, but I don't know what's making it. Hey Seiji, I want to apologize. I don't know what came over me. I didn't mean to say any of that stuff to you. I've been a horrible friend lately, and I can't stand myself for that either. And just to let you know, you are right. We are going to make it, and I'll make sure we have the best paintball experience ever tomorrow. Just don't eat up my cash, please. <laughs> it's in one of those stalls that's making that swinging noise. The silent treatment, eh? Look, I get why you don't want to talk to me. And I won't pressure you, too. But to let you know, I still care for you. You're my brother, Seiji. And nothing could ever change that. You mean, not the thing that you just said to him earlier about his parent abandoning him? The sibling I never get to have. From now on, Seiji, I promise to make things better for the both of us. There wasn't an answer, but I know he's here as well. Probably inside one of these stalls. I came to check it out. Okay, I'll open the door and see ya. Gotcha. In one, two, I gradually open the door about to say three. Seiji! But he... Hun himself or somebody else did. Thank you for playing Death House. Part so chapter two will come about when it does. Okay, folks, that is going to be it so far for Death House. When chapter two releases, we will be looking at that game. I don't think the developers will make a scenario where the only way out is 
for characters to die off. I believe that in some way, I don't think that was Seiji either who was hung there. I think that was another body that was hung there. Because Seiji, even though we don't show any kind of tendencies on the outside, I still think within his speech he would not have the capacity to do that. Like, it takes a really strong-willed person to be able to do that. Like, go through that kind of commitment and then perform that kind of thing. Like, a person who is too hesitant would not do that. Even in such desperation, a person wouldn't do that. And no, I am not encouraging it by any means. Always get the help that you need, require, and deserve in order to break out a emotional, psychological cycle of total despair. But thank you all so much for watching, guys. I think what will happen in Chapter 2 is we could be seeing the beginning for another one or two characters within their cycles of the Death House. This Death House is literally... A lot of different rooms within the same interdimensional dimension but each of the rooms consists of different characters in them so for us in chapter one one room of a death house was Naoki and the other character in there was Seiji but in chapter two we could be getting another one or two other characters like Yoshino or Sakurako or Mahiro or Yoshino yeah I've already said Yoshino or Satomi stuff like that I think of that as my hypothesis for a moment it's going to be a chapter by chapter thing and each of the chapters we're going to be seeing different characters interpretations upon their entrance to this realm but whether we're in groups of twos or threes I don't know but thank you all so much for watching guys this has been Death House so far, and we shall see each other in the next time when Chapter 2 releases. When that releases, I don't know. Thank you all so much for watching, and take care of yourselves.